Welcome back, Stats23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and today's going to be a little bit different. I got you off the tripod because I need to get uh, the right light to even show these. And these are some of the my Stasified finished anode jobs that I did for some customers. Um, the first one is of that Wingman EDC Yuri that I did a, a quick video on the other day. So if you want to see what it looked like beforehand, go check it out. But here's the finished product. He wanted uh, some blue and purples. So that's what I did. We also did the pivot. The pivot didn't take so well to the finish because of those lines. But I think it blended good. And it's so hard to video this and I'm not doing any justice by not doing it in natural light, but I'm about to package these up. And I love the way this side turned out because that right there almost looks like a marble right here. And it's so hard to film because those shadows you're seeing right there, right there, that's me because this is mirror polished before I do the finish. And if anybody's ever polished titanium, you know that takes some elbow grease. Let me know what y'all think about this one. If if I can um, take some shots before I package this up, I will. Um, or I might have some on my Instagram. If y'all follow me there, you'll probably see this as well. It's at Stasa 23 as well. And this knife, because it has that proprietary pivot, it has a uh, titanium pivot tool that it came with and he asked me if I could do the finish on that as well and I think it turned out really cool and this thing is really hard to video because it's round and the glare is shooting off of it let's see if I can get a better angle I'm in my living room so the lights aren't the best in here so he wants to pick up the glare I'm trying to turn to where y'all can see it better got the bottom of it and the customer was really happy with this this the wingman actually is my customer's nine-year-old he bought him and I was like wow so you're one cool dad. I wish my dad would have bought me a $400 knife, $400 plus dollar knife. So there you go. That's the wingman. And he sent me a second knife, which I was kind of intimidated by because you'll see. It's the We Knives Arrakis, uh, Elijah Meisham design. If you don't know what it looks like beforehand, go check it out. Blade HQ or something like that. And this is the finished product. He wanted the the blues and purples as well on this one. The pivot turned out really good, I think. On this one, it it uh, went well. So hard to show. Hopefully, it's coming up enough through the camera that y'all are seeing it good enough. It looks okay, but definitely not getting the true aspect of this. strive to to get better with each knife and seems to be getting on better but I'm my own worst critic so yeah in person it's a lot more vibrant and you can see there you go you can see that those shadows that's just me And this is definitely an Isham design. Those lines. Let's see if I can take it up close. It's, it doesn't want to focus when I take it up close. Should I have a white backdrop or something? But I just want to kind of give you all a thing. This is an integral, very tricky one because these 
top little scales come off on both sides and they form this piece right here is the integral part and it's just uh it's like working on two separate knives all right and then for another customer <coughs> they she sent me two and uh, sent me another ink pen i've only done a few of these they're they're not too hard to do for the most part but this is a uh, tie bolt i think is it i think it's a tie bolt tie bolt tie scribe tie scribe i don't know it's one of them look let's see there's the maker mark right there and we did this entire pen i did those screws but it's really hard to even see um did the cap top I like how it faded into the purple down into the blue again right there that cap tip whatever turned out great and then i also took the little slide action thing out and anode it as well because it was titanium you can anode pretty much anything titanium works flawlessly looking you can still see the finish right there Something I'd asked a customer, I'd put it back together because I wasn't sure if, if um, that little piece right there inside of there was titanium or not. And I asked her if she wanted me to test it out and try it. And she said, go for it. It was kind of driving my OCD tendencies crazy, not doing it. But this, this thing came out great, I think. Y'all let me know which one's y'all favorite in the comments. I like that a lot. And then she sent me a knife that I'm missing now that I got this one in. It's an Olamic Whippersnapper. And I had bought, I had the, one of the prototypes and the different blade shape is the one I have right now. And somebody made me an offer I couldn't refuse. So I ended up selling it. But here's the her whippersnapper. And she liked the more blues. And she wanted the she wanted the pivot done. I think the pivot ended up working out great. Because the small things is it's they're tricky. Look at that. See, look, you can see my hand right there. You see it? There's my hair right there. <laughs> you can tell this one, it's a total mirror. And you can, you still have the polish underneath, so you can still see your reflections like that. On this side, with the same motif. I even got in those valleys right there, the lock bar cut out. That's another hard spot to get to take good. But the key to this finish is the finish work before you do the anno. The flatter and smoother the surface, the better. And the more the polish, the more the colors pop. You can get a more subdued look if you leave like a matte finish. Some people like that. I, I like I like how the colors really pop. And like I said, if you could see this in person, the colors pop way more in person. But it's just really hard to capture. Camera's kind of freaking out and I don't have any natural light. It's dark out right now. I think that pivot color turned out pretty well too to kind of blend in with that lock bar. I miss, I miss mine like this. But I had the buskers, so I couldn't justify keeping both. And there you go, that's the whippersnapper. And then the two I had in my pocket today, I actually had the finish, and one of them <laughs> was a very gracious gift uh, by my buddy BJ from Croatia. Sent me this uh, Riot Starboy and I tend not to spin as much time on my 
personal stuff. But, you know, it's just how it goes. But this one turned out pretty good. And I will say, you know, after taking apart so many knives, not just doing the finish, but, you know, along my many years in this hobby, um, when you're doing, like, finish work, like this especially, and you're, like, diving into, like, the detailed machining and everything that goes into making the knife, you really see how well the knife is actually made. <clears throat> and one thing I will say, whether you like Riot or you don't, um, you know, after working in a machine shop for a year, uh, I, I've learned, <clears throat> you know, different things about tolerances and stuff. And I will say, you know, besides having really tight tolerances, uh, especially on their newer stuff, that their finishing work on the finished product is uh, superior to a lot of companies that I've worked on. Um, what I mean by that is, you know, a lot of companies will leave the <coughs> titanium kind of rough or milling lines that they making it look like they're doing that for aesthetics, but you know, that's just cheaper to do that way. Cause you don't have to mill as much, but, um, I'm not going to name any companies and, and, you know, single out any companies, but I've worked on, you know, many companies where <laughs> a lot of their flat scale titanium knives weren't even flat. I had to tool them up, um, a lot actually. And I can see, you know, how well their fit, their fitment is on their parts. I geek out on that kind of stuff. So that's just me. <clears throat> All right. The next knife, I'm not sure if I've showed y'all or not yet, but this is one I'm proud of. Um, the other day, I mean, for the giveaway, I, um, I gave away that Best Tech uh, front flipper that I modded and, you know, chopped to size. And I had another Best Tech that I wanted to do the same to and keep for myself. My daughter wants to say hey. Hi. <laughs> and um, I, I've always liked this knife, but I, I wanted it. I wanted a smaller version. So the knife I'm about to show you is the Best Tech Pterodactyl. Um, and you'll see, I did a lot of work to it. So here's the knife. It's got my endo finish on it. I chopped it. It was a much bigger knife. And I reshaped the blade. I kind of contoured that carbon fiber and did a little bit of polishing to it. I had to refit the backspacer to go with the length. Yeah, definitely not getting the, the true, true colors out of this video because it's a little bright. And there's the blade shape now. I reshaped the blade. And let's see, I think, yeah, and I ground this swedge up top. Then I did the two-tone acid stone washed finish, acid stone wash on the primary, and then I sat in the flats. And then I distressed, you know, the grind line right there. And now this thing fits me like a glove. Perfect fit for me. Um, it already had great action before. Nice snappy, nice and smooth. <clears throat> One thing that I would like to try to do and just haven't got around to it because this is my own personal knife is try to tap the titanium to put a pocket clip right there in the middle. Uh, I gotta practice first. I've, I've, I haven't really tapped many things and especially not titanium. Titanium's a lot harder to work with, in my opinion, than steel of the same thickness at least. Um, but my buddy Justin from OCD for EDC gave me some tips and pointers. I just need to try it out now. I think I, yeah, I also probably need to clean it up, but I, was, but I did polish this edge up. I had to put a new edge on it because I acid washed it. 
but I've been cutting stuff with it. <clears throat> so let me know out of all the ones I showed you, which one was your favorite. Um, if you don't know what this, like I said, looked like before, just go type in Best Tech Pterodactyl and you'll see this, it, it had somewhat similar shape blade kind, I guess, but I don't think it had the wedge up top. I know I added that one at least or at least elongated it, one of the two. But uh, I like I like doing this. Not something that I'm willing to offer yet, just because I don't feel comfortable enough yet to offer to do that. Um, maybe one day, maybe whenever I'm able to get my 2x72 grinder, which I hope to have before the end of the year make things a lot easier being a, I need a variable speed grinder so I'm not heating up stuff so quickly all right guys and girls hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day here's all the pieces right here laid out on the kitchen table and um, if you have any questions comments concerns please leave them down below if you like this video give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and family and your social networks and I uh, hope everybody has an absolute wonderful weekend, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.